Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on importing data in a Python. So till now we have seen about how we can read a simple flat file in a Python programming language with the help of couple of external libraries like a numpy, a numerical Python library and a pandas, a data analysis library. And we have successfully read the .tsv, .csv file. We have read a matlab.mat file and a very famous Excel file in a Python programming language. So these are all the flat file we have read it. Now let's move towards the database. Now how we can read the different database system in a Python programming language with the help of different library. So let's start our journey of database with relational database like SQLite, MySQL or Oracle. So in this tutorial we are going to see how we can install the SQLite in your local machine and how you can read those SQLite with the Python driver directly into Python programming language. Then we will move towards a NoSQL database like a MongoDB and then we'll see about the graph database Neo4j and it's imported into Python. So let's start with the SQLite. So for SQLite purpose we need SQLite as a standalone implementation in our machine either it's on Windows, Linux or a Mac or we can straight away install it with the help of source code directly or if you are on an Ubuntu system you can use our apt-get package manager and you can directly execute this command sudo apt-get install SQLite 3. If you are on a Windows or Mac there is a pre-built binary available on a site of SQLite and that I will going to show you and we need a python driver to access this data from the python so from the python version 2.5 onwards this import sqlite 3 package is already available built in available in a python so there is no need to install it so let's start our journey of installation first from the source code then we will see about how we can do with the sudo apt-get and then directly Windows and Mac pre-built binary. Okay, so let's go to the SQLite download. So if you see this SQLite download, there is a first one is given a source code. You can download either tar.gz file or a zip file documentation also whole available if you want to install for android or even if you want to build for the linux mac and for windows all pre-built binaries are available you can straight away take it and straight away install in your respective system in this tutorial we are going to see how we can install from the source code so i have already downloaded this tar.gz file here so you can see this star.gz file is available and I have extracted it here. So I'll show you how to do it. So we'll first go to the SQLite directory where SQLite has been installed or it is uh, available to get installed. Then we will execute the two command. First one is a dot slash configure and another one is a make utility. We will apply to create the binary for us and then we will execute this make install command to actually install in a proper place on your Linux system. So let's start. So I have already installed this SQLite. So let's go, I'll go to straight away to that particular directory. Then we'll apply this configure. It will just check that where all necessary compilers and a linker files are available or not. So it has successfully executed dot slash configure now I'll make do it sudo make so it will create equivalent binary file for us I have already executed this command so it has already created this binary for me and I'll make this sudo make install otherwise it will take little time for you okay so we have successfully imported this SQLite or install this SQLite. Now let's verify whether SQLite has been installed or not. So we can do okay. 
we can do sqlite 3 command we can execute sqlite 3 command and i have already one sample database test.db i am not going to show you how to create this database and then how to create the table how to insert data as this course is all about the importing data so i have taken some sample data from uh, internet and i am going to show you how you can read this data into python but before reading those data into python with different ways either this sqlite 3 python driver or another way of uh, pandas uh, data analysis pandas library so before that let's uh, read it inside okay so we have already entered into sqlite 3 console so we'll just type dot slash tables so it has given us there is a one table exists which is nothing but the employees now let's read this table select star from employee okay so there is total eight records are available an individual employees name first name last name its designation and phone number kind of data available so that is all about this lecture friends we have successfully installed this sqlite and we have already python driver built in available in a python programming language so in the next lecture what we are going to do with a different two ways we are going to read this data from the sqlite python driver directly into python programming language so that's all about this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please 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 do subscribe it